and this is actually a 10. This Toronto mom has seen pandemic learning affect her children's math skills. Students were struggling and trying to catch up on the previous few years that they'd missed. She is not alone. Standardized math tests reveal only 47% of Ontario's grade 6 students meet the provincial standard. That's slightly worse than the 2018 scores. And definitely not the improvement the provincial government promised when it introduced the new math curriculum in 2020. Math has been a struggle for kids regardless of the curriculum. We're still not getting to the crux of the problem, which is the lack of support for students. And this is not just an Ontario problem. Data published in 2021 in Quebec showed that a quarter of students were failing math. That province poured millions of dollars into virtual tutors, but this parent group representative says it didn't go far enough. What they need to do is provide parents with some um, tax credits so they can hire tutors um, and try with the catch up that way. And they also need a concrete plan to be put in place by the government to address this gap in learning. Ontario is extending in-school tutoring supports and offering parents money to help kids catch up. Parents with school-aged children up to 18 can receive $200 for every child. But many say that will not go far enough. If you were to hire a tutor on the cheap end in Ontario, you're looking at maybe $30 an hour. For $200, that's what, maybe six sessions? Some critics also see it as an attempt to buy some parental goodwill ahead of what could be yet another disruption. The talks between the Ontario government and a union representing some school employees have broken down, meaning staffers like early childhood educators could go on strike as early as November 3rd. Deanna Sumanak-Johnson, CBC News, Toronto.